Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147 and I'm going to get up a second set of the Paint Gem mini paintings. So I kit this one up the other day that actually has the National Parks set in it. I've not done any yet but these storage boxes with the space underneath, in fact they will just fit, I think, <laughs> um, are perfect for these mini paintings. These set, the two sets that I've got left are bigger paintings. You only get six of them, but they're bigger. I was just checking they do fit, otherwise it would just scupper it all. Um, <clears throat> but I would like to have two sets kit up, kitted up in the storage type that I have so that I can do it dependent on which one I fancy doing. Um, I have two sets of them. I've grabbed one of the boxes. I don't know which set of paintings I need. But when I did have a quick tidy up in my craft room the other day, I did decide to cut them um, and then actually just use these little mini clips to help them to flatten. Um, so yeah, let's see which one I am kitting up for my second set. So this is the original Around the World edition, and it's that one. So let's pop the Eiffel Tower away for a later day. And we're going to kit this one up. So I can take the clips off these now. I no longer require the clips, and they should be pretty much flat as well. They do get sent flat now. Uh, but they never used to so they are flat enough to go distracted by the phone okay paintings are in there clips are no longer needed so I can pop those away these are just mini clips from Amazon mini binder clips uh, tend to use them for um, rolled up paintings to clip them together but in this case it's helped to flatten them down so I've got my diamonds I've got my paintings I've got my storage tubs let's get this ready for my sticker maker so the first thing I want to do is trim this side down then because I've just recently done the other one and know what I need to do to make this work. I also want to trim this down. So I'm taking off my symbol set. I'm not going to trim this, but I am going to trim the other side of it with the DMC numbers. So I'm going to trim that down. Don't need those pieces. Don't have a Oh, I was going to say I don't have a bin in here because I took out the bin I normally use for order bits and pieces um, to be emptied and forgot to bring it back in. But I've got that one. So I've got those two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this to this. And then that ends up being a nice width for these boxes and a nice width. Well. Uh, either either width would be fine for going through my sticker maker. Now I could put the whole thing through the sticker maker and then cut it and peel it and stick it over the top. And to be honest, that may have been a better way of doing it than using two different lots of adhesive, but I'm here now. So I'm using a sticky dot roller that I still have from when I primarily did scrapbooking and didn't get addicted to diamond painting. And life was never the same again. So I can't remember the last time I changed the role in that. And then I can cut off the bottom and the top because they are definitely not needed. And then I am gonna cut it halfway through because I often, put it into my sticker maker a little bit to one side or another not intentionally just sometimes it's the way it grabs hold of it 
And I don't do it when I tend to split them in half, but I definitely do it when I keep them as a full strip. And it just gets more and more wonky. Oh, that one was a little bit wonky. So put that through my Xyron sticker maker and turn these into stickers. So it still has 30 colours. My storage, if you watch my last one, is 28 containers. So I am going to be adding two containers from my dot box. See that one went in a little bit on an angle and the angle just got bigger and bigger. And if it had been the full strip, it would have ended up off the sticker paper and all crushed and stuff. Now I am going to kit this up in alphabet order, alphabet then numbers because that makes sense to me when working on the paintings. These are not in DMC order anyway. Uh, I think they're in order of weight of the diamonds potentially. I don't quite know what order they're in. Um, some of them I've had where the inventory sheet has come in alphabet order. But for some reason, these aren't. So let's start with what letters we can do off this one. So A starts with an A, A, B, C, D. Now I'm not seeing any of these colors on my top pile. So I will keep going, sticking in the up. So A, B, C, D, E. I have to keep running through the alphabet in my head. Then I want F. So I'm actually, there's a Z in the middle of that. So F, G, H. And more often than not, it does run through the full alphabet. But occasionally I have had the odd kit that's had W twice. So do keep an eye out if you're kitting up the minis. Just for some of the things I've seen. Because I wouldn't want I wouldn't want you guys to sort of end up kitting up and making a mistake that is not easy for you to fix if it's something I've already experienced. So I have had a couple that I've had W twice. The colours have been different, so it's not been an issue when doing the painting at all. Um, it's just when kitting up, you need to remember to put in two Ws. <laughs> but if you have all the alphabet, plus the numbers one, two, three, and four, then that's your 30, you're good. Um, so I need some of those in a moment. So then I need L. Okay, L. Back, oh, it's alive. Back to grab the M. This kit, in theory, I should do a bit quicker than the other kit, because this one only has six paintings and the other one has 10. Um, this does have more diamonds, so time-wise, if we're talking actual hours and minutes, it could potentially take L, M, N, O, P. Um, so actual hours it could take, they will be roughly the same. However, when I decide to do a mini painting, it will probably be dependent on how much time I've got to do one as to which one I pick. PQ. So there is only six of these, so provided I have some nice chunks of diamond painting time, then I should finish these first. But it could be that I have lots of smaller chunks of diamond painting time, and therefore I'll finish the other set first. Subscribe and wait and see <laughs> which one I will finish first. ST. Okay, now I need U. This is where I really have to pay attention to the alphabet. U, V, W. Then we've got X. 
over there. X, Y, and Z. Finally get that Z. <laughs> then we need number one. And number two. And then three and four will go in little dot box containers. Same as what I used for the last one. Where did I put them? See, I've had a tidy up since I did the last one. <laughs> so that will be going in some of these little containers. I've already pinched two little square ones for the other kits. What I do want to check first though, so 747 is one of them and 740 is the other. I just wanted to check the amount of diamonds as to whether I wanted the long box or the short box. What I might actually do for this one is I might do one of each. The 747, there is quite a few of them. Now, I still think they would both fit in the small box. Don't get me wrong, they've still got some depth to them. But I also think that if the symbol is only used a little bit on a painting, it will be very handy to be able to just dip my pen in to pull out the diamonds that I want. And therefore, the flatter one will give me more option to do that. Now, because I have had static issues with past kits, I've had it a little bit with these, but not hugely. See, there's a few there that are wanting to stay in the bag. The fact that I've put dryer sheets in has made it loads nicer, but I am going to keep dryer sheets in the box. See, if I put all them to the end, they would fit in a small one. But if I do just want to dip my pen in, it's easier to do in a long one. And they'll both fit. So I don't think I'm causing or I'm, you know, I'm not making anything harder for myself by giving myself the longer box for one of them and then the shorter box for the other because the two of them will sit there quite nicely. And I am going to reuse some of these dryer sheets to put a little piece in each box before I tip the diamonds in, because that should be easier. But that's two of them done. See, they both fit nicely in there with the paintings. I could potentially even fit a diamond painting tray in there and have that as a full-on kit. Time will tell. <clears throat> okay, so there are my diamonds. So let's pull out one, 519. I'm going to put a piece of dryer sheet in each while I have them here. Well, I've already got them out of the others because I need a smaller piece in these. And then let's put 519 in. Keep hold of the dryer sheet for the next strip. In fact, that's all I'm going to need is one dryer sheet for each strip now. So we'll keep that for the next dryer sheet. And I tend to find the more diamonds that are in there, the more there is still a little bit of static remaining. And that's because I just slipped the dryer sheet in. I didn't do any ruffling of the diamonds. I didn't, they didn't get shaken about or anything. Whereas I do find once they're in this pot, whether they still have signs of static or not, because the dryer sheet is in there and I'm lifting the pots up and I'm tipping them up to tip diamonds out and I'm sort of jiggling them about on the dryer sheet, the static gets a lot less. Okay, I've just, oh, apart from the fact that that has just decided to completely jump out of that plastic box, but I'll show you what I mean once I've got these back in there. <clears throat> so let me pick up some diamonds. They're no way as bad as 
the original sets. But I can now shake that about and shake the diamonds around that dryer sheet. And in fact, get that dryer sheet to move a little bit so it's not stuck to the bottom. And, and all this sort of action of just diamond painting, of course, this is the extreme, will calm them all down already. So it's already calming some of them down and stopping them from sticking as much. Um, and the more it gets done, the more it will stop them sticking. So that's why it's nice to pop them in. Um, it seems to be as though these numbers nearer the end seem to be the ones with more diamonds in them. So we may have some static jumping to start off with and I'm hoping it will die down the further into the kit we go. But the best method, I mean, I put these dryer sheets in weeks ago. I put them in at some point in June in the hope that they would calm down for me to kit some of them up in June and take them away with us. I didn't end up with the time to kit them up to take them away with us. So I just left the dryer sheets in. But I didn't do, I say, I didn't do any jiggery pokery with them or let the dryer sheet get ruffled up in with them. So I've actually found that the best way is to really rub the diamonds into the dryer sheet. Right, am I going to be able to have 606? Oh, this was, 606 is the letter Z that was actually on the first sheet. So I reckon this is going to be one of these near at the bottom. Isn't 606 a red? It is. There it is. See, there's nowhere near as many of those. So that must be the order that they do the sticker sheet in is weight order. And that's why this symbol Z was right near the beginning because there's nowhere near as many. And I don't know if you noticed, but the static was nowhere near as bad. So where the diamonds have managed to touch the dryer sheet, they're a lot better. So the best way is put a piece of dryer sheet in and give it a good rummage around or hook the dryer sheet over your finger and then give it a good rummage around. But that is those four done. Give them a good shake. Because there's a dryer sheet in there, I think the dryer sheet's going to do more good than the shaking's going to do harm. But let's pop another one in, one that I've not rummaged around in the bag in as much. I've got a few different ones to choose from. So 498 is this one. Again, I think X was on the front sheet, but I'm actually going to try and kit them up in some form of the whole strip rather than dot about for today's. 3779, that is a dark grey. There it is. Very dark grey is 3779. Little bit of them sticking to the bag, but give them a shake and out they pop. 712. And it does help me determine the colours because the colour of the symbol does match the colour of the diamonds. Some of it is stuck in my head from DMC numbers, from cross-stitching since I was small, <laughs> um, up until diamond painting. DMC numbers and the colours of them. There are some that just seem to stick with you, um, that you seem to get used to. There are some that you just tend to know what sort of shade of colour it is likely to be and the symbols help confirm that. So let's pop in a dryer sheet or 
more a piece because for the extra two seconds doing that it could save me heartache later on so I'm all for it and we had less diamonds in that bag and they've gone in really well so it would be kind of nice if this was a a nice smooth process from here on out though I think we're still going to have a few that test our patience maybe let's see see how we go they're not as jumpy as the packs that were really full though that's for sure then we've got four three seven there's a few jumpy ones in here but once they get off the side of the bag, they're not flying around the desk as much. I was going to say they're not flying around the desk and stop there. And one of them jumped across the desk. So <laughs> we'll go with not as much. I'm going to get rid of that one. I've used that to rummage around a bag in. I feel like it's... There's uh, ones that haven't been handled as much. So 739, that had a little bit more, a little bit more static because it was a fuller bag. You see the two of them just jumped out at that point. Two stayed all right, two jumped. What I might do is I think for some of these that I'm seeing really big signs of static, like the ones that are jumping everywhere because they're quite full or just because they're diamonds that are having a moment I'm going to put a second dryer sheet in on the top because it all helps 317 414 and these are all the ones I pulled off the top because most of these were in order not all of them though, see this bag's giving a little bit, or maybe even a little bit more. Some of those do not want to come out. Have I got a bigger piece? So you could just wrap it round your finger and use that to touch all the diamonds. And if you do that, they tend to come out then loads easier without giving the same level <laughs> level of attitude okay five two hundred that's hiding in here that is definitely a bigger bag so it's got a dryer sheet in there before i even break the seal i'm gonna give it a workout see how many diamonds we can get touching that dryer sheet see if that helps our chances the only thing is then is getting the dryer sheet out and realizing that a load of them have all got caught in it so those two weren't static they were caught in the crumpled sheet let's try that now see that's not bad then for a big bag there's still some in there, there's still some in the far corners that seem to be having a little bit of trouble coming out, but not compared to some of the others. That was really good. Well done, 5200. Dryer sheet is definitely the way to go. Definitely makes life a whole lot easier. And there's just a few different techniques that you can do to help yourself with them. But if you have static, first off, I do recommend putting a piece of dryer sheet in and giving it probably even a day would do it, maybe even an hour. The smaller bags, that will help a lot. For the bigger bags, when you then get hold of the diamonds, because sometimes when you get hold of them, you can see them clinging to the top. And if you do see them clinging to the top from the off, then do what I did with the 5200s. 
give the whole bag while it's still sealed a good bit of rough and tumble a bit like that before you even unseal it try and get the diamonds touching that dryer sheet that you've put in uh, just do it better because I missed that corner and that should help calm a lot of them down that one's still got a little bit of it so let's add one in the top because what harm does it do let's grab the rest of the diamond out so I want 699 again that looks a fuller one I say they're done by weight a, B was right near the beginning. Oh, maybe they are. Maybe they have got less in them. Who knows? Maybe I'm making it up. Who knows? They're going in alphabet order for me. Luna's barking. She wants Megan to play. I can tell that's what she's barking for this time. Megan's currently trying to teach her a different way to ask to play as well. Where she just bops you with her nose and just bops you on the hand or on the leg or something to say, I want to play. It's not, it's getting through sometimes, it's not quite sticking. But hey, we're due to hit adolescence soon, so it's all going to go out the window anyway, isn't it? Right, 704, this again looks like another full one. Oh, I'm trying to think if she's barking at playing or barking at the kids next door. I'm also trying to teach her that if the, if the kids next door are in their own garden, she's not to bark at them. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long summer holidays when the summer holidays start. It's going to be a very long time. Okay, that one was quite static, so let's shove another sheet in there. Help those poor diamonds out. Not got long now. These kitty knots are getting quicker, she says, and then gets a bag with static in it. Okay, and that was a smaller bag as well, so maybe it has nothing to do with the amount of diamonds in it. 825. Let's try and give them a good shuffle. I don't think I got anywhere near all the diamonds, but come on. Don't give me aggro at the end of the kitten up. I was talking so well about dealing with static that I don't then need diamonds that don't play the game. Give them a good shake around. Right, last four. Let's go for this bigger piece. Let's kit this up and then see if we need any extra dryer sheets. So what are we on first? Eight, two, six. may or may not be oh yeah a few of them are jumpy could have been worse though could have been a lot worse oh that one's on the floor now that one obviously does not want to take part in the painting because it went for a running jump Those ones, not too bad. Once they break away from the side of that bag, they seem to have calmed down. 603. Two numbers to choose from and I still couldn't work out which one it was. So 603. Ah, oh, you were a dream. Okay, 605. Play the dream game, please. 
for your dream set of diamonds very nearly very nearly but I'll take that done okay all the rest of the dryer sheets gone I do have some more they are now on my shopping list um, so that I make sure that I keep them stocked up but there we go I have another set of prints done in fact I don't think I've shown you all of them I think I just pulled off the top one so we have that one two three four five and six so we have six different paintings I'm just going to give them a random shuffle up not looking you'll have to believe me um, and there we go we start with what looks like potentially Japan I'm not exactly sure what they are I haven't looked at them on the website for the names but that is my second mini set kit up who knows how long it will take me to get them done I'm not planning on rushing them I'm not necessarily planning on doing once a day I'm planning on occasionally pulling these out if I fancy a change from rounds because I'm currently doing a large round if I don't want to get all my easel and stuff out if I happen to have packed it away and therefore I'm too lazy to pull it all out. I'll grab one of these or maybe I just don't have a huge amount of time to diamond paint or I have a set amount of time and I've got a rough idea of how long one of these or one of the others will take me and that will fit into that time. Um, then I might do these. I might find that once I've pulled one of these out that they sort of hang about in the conservatory which means I might grab them a bit more. Who knows? We shall see how long they take um, to do but I'll be sure to let you know what they're like when they're done of course but yeah thank you so much for joining me for another kitting up. Stay tuned for many more videos to come um yeah and i'll speak to you all again soon